Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. For those that you don't know me, um, I'm Diane. And I'm Harry. And this is UK Disney Vlog. So we're going to be filming part two of our Q&A because we've got so many fantastic questions. So I put some questions, I put a thing out on Twitter and Instagram and asked for some questions off you guys. So thank yeah. you very much for everyone that's asked us some questions. And if you haven't seen the first one, go back and watch it. And we'll leave a comment, leave a link, yeah. wherever, wherever David decides to leave a link. Right. Right. Yeah. So the next one is from C Sean Vlog. We love C Sean Vlog. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. So if you design the next Mickey shaped food, what would it be? I can't think of the answer to this question. What Mickey shaped food do you want? Um, Mickey shaped churros? I, um, I'm not That'd sure. Be good. I'm not sure yet, but um, I have a question. What about Mickey shaped churros? Good, that's a good one. But I have a question. What? Why do wet? The thing I get annoyed about Disney every time you go there, you see some circles. Why every time you have to put circle? Hidden Mickey's. That's what it's. I know. Good. No, but. As soon as you walk into the park. Go on. It's on a rant now. So I think it would be. Go on. I was gonna say Mickey ice cream. Mickey ice cream, there's already ice cream. There's already Mickey crisps. Mm, that's probably that'd work out. Mickey burger. Dad says Mickey burger. Sliders. Yeah, sliders. Mickey hot dog. <laughs> Mickey shaped hot dog. You just put some. You just put bread okay. on, on the on the line. Okay. Mickey shaped hot dog. We'll leave that one with the imagineers, shall we? Okay. What made you start vlogging? This isn't my question, or yours. Uh, uh, what made me start vlogging? Well, uh, I don't actually know it. It's a hard thing to make. Um, I think we just thought one day that I knew a lot of stuff about Disney. And we thought, oh, it's to make money. <laughs> Brutal honesty of a child. Well, that's not true because trying to make money from vlogging is just not easy. It's very, very hard work. You want to get a play button? You want to get a play button? I don't even know what one of those is. What's a play button? You have to reach just certain amount of subscribers and they give you a, bu a button that silver, gold or blue. Like. Okay, well maybe I want to reach that one day then I might, might, make, I might, 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 might make some money from vlogging. Which is that um, gold and silver. I think I just I started looking at the vlogging community and I thought I want to share my knowledge with everybody and then I never realised how much of the community there was and since I found that out I really love doing it. So I love sharing my content, love getting other people's content in. I love watching it. And yeah, that's, I, I don't know what made me want to start, but now I'm part of it. I absolutely love it. It's a whole new way of life for us. It's a whole new community that I never knew existed because people at work just don't get it. Just don't get my obsession with Disney. Yeah. And you guys that are obviously watching this do, and that's what I, continues and makes me want to carry on doing it. So thanks for the questions. Mm -hmm. And the next questions are from Kaz. So Ka Caroline from T Sean Vlog has done her own questions as well. If you could each add a new ride, snack, attraction, hotel or restaurant, what would it be? Oh God, that's a tough question. Um, so if you were to add a new ride, new snack, attraction, hotel or restaurant, uh, it goes back to the no lack of imagination. So a new ride that I want at Walt Disney World is not really a new ride. It's one of the rides from Paris. I think we need to bring over. I need to we need to bring over RC Racer. Yes. Yeah. So that needs to be in Walt Disney World in Toy Story Land. I got one. What? Oh wait. <laughs> you wait. Did you say? His brain's just all with all these questions now, isn't it? Um, I really don't know. I'm sorry, Caroline. I'm letting you down. I can't answer those questions. Are you still thinking? Should we go on to the next one? Yes? What is your favourite place to visit in the UK? 
I got one. What? Marshmallows were candy floss. Marshmallows? Oh, candy floss. That's not new, is it? They have marshmallows and they have candy floss. Yeah. Okay. Call me here. So, what is your favourite place to visit in the UK? So, where in this country do you like to visit the most? Um... Oh, yes, I got to one at some place we went for Christmas called Centre Parks. Centre Parks, yeah. We love to go to Centre Parks, don't we? Yeah. We've been I a couple of times and I that's on one of our vlogs as well. We'll leave a link. Um, yeah, Centre Parks is an amazing place to go. There's loads of places in the UK I want to go. I want, I love going to South Wales and I've not been for a very, very long time. The beach is incredible. I'd like to go to Cornwall. Cornwall's one of the places I'd like um, to visit. I we love going down to London, don't um, we? Yeah, I think the dad did it, but I'm not sure. But you, um, I'll give you a guess. You, you and him didn't go. Pinecone Forest. Oh, the Pinecone down. Forest. Okay. Is that what <laughs> the Forest Coaster. Yeah. That's one of the Harry's favourite places. To go. I love going down to um, London. I love going down to Windsor Castle and seeing the planes because I'm a bit of a plane geek. Um, so yeah, I like going down there. It's a beautiful part of the country. Yeah, yeah. loads yeah. of places in the UK that we like to go. Yeah. What is your favourite food at Disney and non-Disney? I think we've answered, you've answered that question, haven't you? Uh, hot. Hot dogs. No, at Disney. Um, so, your favourite food at Disney? Don't think, why are you even thinking about churro. it? Churro. Your favourite food at Disney is a churro? It's a churro. What's a churro? Uh, Mickey has a good. Okay, ice cream, I'll, I'll give you that one. Um, his favourite non-Disney food is? Domino. Domino. Domino's pizza. Um, I'm more of a pasta kind of girl. It's a tricky one, that one. My favorite food at Disney. What I'd love to do is go to Ohana because that's kind of my favorite, that's my kind of style of food. My style of food is like noodles and rice and chicken and that's, yeah, I'd love to go there and have my meal. So that would be my favorite food at Disney. What music do I like? Oh, that's a tough question. I have a very eclectic taste in music. Um, I love musicals. I love a lot of jazz hands. I love a lot of pop. But I also love Foo Fighters and I love all sorts of, yeah, a, a very eclectic arrange, uh, um, array of music. Wait, was, it, was it not a Disney hit music? No, just what's oh, my favorite music? Um, Complaints Fire Rescue. Oh. Thunder. Da, 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 da. That's like one of Harry's favourite tracks, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he likes Track. that tracks. It's called Track. <laughs> it's called a music track, yeah. <laughs> so thanks for those questions, guys. Thanks, uh, Caroline and Sean. I really appreciate them. Really so the next questions. <laughs> Learning lots of questions today. Learning yeah. lots of stuff today, yeah? The next question is from C and L wondering if you could pick four rides from Disney to create your own park, what would they be? So you've got to pick four rides. Um, uh, oh, that's, why, why should I be test track? Oh, it's like a passage. Uh, Slinky Dog Dash. Um, who's that? Um, let me think of some. There's loads of Magic Kingdom. You've got Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. You've got Big Thunder Mountain. You've got Splash Mountain. You've got Cali River Rapids at um, Animal Kingdom. What's your fourth one? Uh, um, I do like Cali River Rapids. But Expedition I, Everest. I, I do like Cali River Rapids. I'm not very happy with how it treated me last time. Yeah, Harry got a little bit wet, didn't you? Little! <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a bit of dry patch on him. Another. Maybe a little dry patch just here. <laughs> um, 
Come on, you got a fourth, fourth one. Thingy, thingy, me dingy. Uh, go, goat situ, a goat accident. Okay, uh, big thunder mountain. Harry has never <laughs> forgotten this. I think one time we went to um, Walt Disney World. We went for a, a day trip, which can you imagine a day trip to Walt Disney World? Because um, we were already in Florida, so we just drove up for the day. Um, Wasn't it when we were in the pit between? When we stayed in yeah, yeah. Sanibel yeah. and had a hired a villa, we drove up to Florida for the day. Um, oh, sorry, Orlando for the day. I went to Magic Kingdom. And unfortunately, it was down for maintenance. Big Thunder Mountain was down for maintenance and that because there were goats on the track and Harry has never forgotten that to this day. So that's how he remembers that ride because there were goats on the track. Yeah? But I, so but it's probably because there were like statues of actual goats. There were. So if I, I need to answer that question now. So pick four rides from Disney to create your own park and what would they be? I'd want Slinky Dog Dash, Tower of Terror, um, Flight of Passage, um, and I love Splash Mountain. A little bit controversial at the minute, but I do love Splash Mountain as a concept. Um, the ride itself, I love like a little bit of a boat ride and the, and the actual bit at the end. Um, so if once they recreate mm -hmm. it and reimagine it, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be still amazing. So I really love that. Um, I don't know why, but I call like Splash Mountain the like the wet the water version of um big thunder yeah yeah because it's next to each other that's minute yeah yeah so thanks for those questions guys right so the next couple of questions come from florid the family family vlogs oh god i can't speak now i'm sorry guys so what inspires you to run what inspires me to run? Um, to be honest with you, when I first started running, it was, the um, inspiration was to run a 10K for my friend who had breast cancer at the time. I had never run before. I think it was probably about 10 years ago. I'd done, never done any running before. I couldn't even run for 30 seconds without getting out of breath. So yeah, that was what inspired me to run in the first place. It was running that 10K for my friend. Yes? What inspired me to run was to beat you. Okay. Um, what inspires me to run now? I think after I had the kids, I then started picked up running again. I think it was mainly fitness um, to keep fit and healthy. I like food, so I know you shouldn't, you can't out train a bad diet, but I think it's a bit of both. If I didn't run, I would be really overweight. So it's a, it's a matter of balancing it out. And at the minute, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm really excited about the journey ahead. So it's just to stay fit. I like okay. it. I like being fit and I like being active. So it's um, good for my mental health as well. Um, there are two things. One, I don't understand half the question because I'm writing them too. I don't even get questions. What even is this question about? So this is another question from Florich de Vogs, uh, which is related to me. He says, what training schedule are you planning for the WDW marathon? So um, I do answer a lot of these questions because I'm going to be doing a training vlog series for me. Um, so that is in there. But I'm going to be following an app, basically. I've looked at different ones that I've, I've seen, the Walt Disney World offer one, the London Marathon offer one. But for me, I've got I've downloaded a couple of apps. So that's what training schedule I'm going to be going off. Building interval trainings, which I've never done before. Um, so yeah, that's what I am doing. So thanks for those questions, guys. Yeah. Right. So the next couple of questions come from Timo Sullivan. Um, is there anywhere else other than Florida or Walt Disney World you would like to go? Um, um, you, you would, but I just don't think you remember them. So, what about California? You want to go to Disneyland yeah. in California, yeah. don't we? Yeah. I also want to go to Antarctica. Antarctica? Um, Hawaii? Hawaii. Hawaii. I'd love to go to California and do a whole trip there and like do Yosemite Falls. Yeah. Is that where you'd like to go? What's your favourite family film? I hate, I hate, no, I don't hate those questions, I'm sorry. I just kind of a pick. I've just got so many films that I love. Mm. I think our favourite family film as a family that we all like, bearing in mind we've got an eight year old boy, a 14 year old girl, 
and David and um, I that have got completely different interests I is... Think, I think... I I know one at you. <coughs> I think I got one. Marvel? Yes, there are two films. Big Hand. Little Hand. Infinity War, yeah. And Endgame. And Endgame. I think that's a big film that we all love to watch. Um, it's something we all love. So yeah, I think our fam a fa film as a family is uh, Marvel and yeah, the Marvel Marvel superhero yeah. series. Yeah, thanks for the question, guys. The next co couple of questions came from Twitter and from Deb, who is an amazing supporter of the community. So thanks for the questions. Um, I think we've already answered this question already. So which Walt Disney World Resort Hotel would you love to stay at? So we've answered that question a couple of times already. So Animal Kingdom and the Polynesian. Yeah, but like I said, I'd like to do the tour. I'd like to stay in the contemporary. Wilderness Lodge, oh my God, it's too many. Animal Kingdom, um, not Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Kingdom Lodge. Lodge. Sorry. Why would, I, why would I want to sleep at um, an actual place? Some of the lions could come and the Sorry. security. All right, okay, Sorry. Sorry. Halloween or Christmas for a trip? Would you like to go to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party? Have they been to No, I've not done Christmas. I'd say Christmas for me because I've never done it. I think it'd be special to go at Christmas. What about you? Um, but Halloween's awesome. Oh, 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 it's Christmas time. Yeah. I wish. Yeah. I wish. Which other Disney park in the world would you love to visit and why? California? Yeah. Because we really want to go on radiated springs don't we we need to go to cars land radiated spring yeah cars land looks awesome doesn't mm -hmm. it and and that in the night that, time yeah the pixar pier you want to go on the incredible coaster yeah mm -hmm. yeah so they look awesome so that's why we want to go there and we've never been there i mean i've been as a teen but i really can't remember it so i'd love to take the families and it just looks awesome would you like to visit Hawaii and stay in Aulu night? Of course! Oh, Who wow. wouldn't want to stay there? It looks awesome. Yeah, so that's definitely on our book, Disney bucket list, isn't it? How many times am I going to do this? I don't know. This is like a... How many times have we done it in this, this vlog? Quite a few times. Okay. What made you start vlogging? Um, obviously, we've already asked that question before, so that was a really uh, mm -hmm. good question. So, go back to that one. Where in the world, non-Disney, to visit? Um, Yosemite National Park for me. Um, I don't think Harry knows of many places. He just said Antarctica. Yeah? yeah. So that's one place to go. Is that it? To a zoo. To a zoo? Okay. Might be nice seeing animals in the wild rather than the zoo. Obviously not. So thanks for those questions, Deb. I really appreciate them. So the next couple of questions come from the Kershaw's Adventures. What other passions do you have? Um, I have no idea what passions mean. I've heard a lot. Uh, so about it, yours is can you switch. Hobbies. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, something that I did on the floor before. Oh, gymnastics. He likes doing gymnastics. Um, you're good at cartwheels and stuff, yes. aren't you? Yeah, we can't do it. They won't be able to see it on the vlog anyway. That was moving it. Um, I think, like you said, you already know. Running, running and fitness. Hello. Not that I'm a prime example of it, but yeah, I do like that. I like a bit of crochet and a bit of knitting, a bit of cross stitch. Love to read. I love reading. I just don't get much opportunity to do it. I think I need to start putting my phone down at night and picking up those books again, because I absolutely love reading. Um, we've answered this question already. Who is your favorite Disney character? Mini! Yeah. And Groot. Mini and Groot. Oh, where are we shooting? <laughs> Boba Fett. Oh, yeah. Boba Fett and Groot. So, yeah. Thanks for those questions, guys. We really appreciate it. And this is the last set of questions. This is, comes from the Disney Grown Ups. What is the best tip you think you could give anyone going to Disney? Um... Oh, there's so many. So many tips. I think have a plan. Oh my God, where are you going? Have a plan, but try and be flexible. 
if things don't work out how you how you imagine them just go with the flow last year my camera broke and it was the first vlogging trip we'd ever done and um it just sent me on a really da a big downer for a, for a little while um nothing i could do about it just make the best of what you've got really just go with the flow if the kids are tired and exhausted cancel that fast pass because it's really not worth it um, come home have a chill just yeah go with the flow it doesn't matter if you don't go to plan you'll still have an awesome time if you try and yes harry yes harry go on uh i have like him at school i have a tip um try and like do as many rides as possible okay yeah that's a good tip and uh, utilize those fast passes really well. So what we would do is we would go to rope drop, have a few rides in the morning, and then use your fast passes. Don't use your fast passes for the first two hours, I we wouldn't recommend. So that gets you the most rides you could possibly get. Okay. Yep. And the last question, do you have any traditions that you do every trip? We did up until the last one. Our tradition is when we go to Magic Kingdom is we go on Splash Mountain, Big Thunder Mountain, Gaston's Tavern. That's always been what we've always done. We've always normally done that first day, except last year. We went to Hollywood Studios. We went to Hollywood Studios. Just because they had different sort of um, early hours events going on and we didn't want the Magic Kingdom to be busy before we'd even got there, the park had opened properly. So we had to ch uh, change things about a bit, which Emily didn't appreciate. Because, but the next day, we yeah. still did Magic Kingdom yeah. and we still did it in that order. The only thing, oh, I have another thing I don't hate about Disney. Waiting game, waiting every morning for five hours. What are you talking about? Whenever you go to a Disney park at uh, Magic Kingdom, uh, before it even opens. Rope drop, I think he's talking about rope drop because we make him get there so early. Um, we stood at the front of rope drop. <laughs> You'll love it. If you didn't do that with your mum, you wouldn't be able to get on all these amazing rides and so many of them. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. But by the time, by the time it's two minutes, you can't even walk. Okay. There's that many people. Okay. Any other traditions we have? Um, we always go and get a capinero and a muffin in the walk. airport, don't we? Yeah. We never rob. Oh, we never rob. <laughs> That's <laughs> a tradition. <laughs> yeah, it's a tradition because we don't ever do it. You weirdo. I think he has got a bit tired about these vlogs now. Um, no idea what you're trying to tell me. Going in. It's not a tradition. It's just standard. Sorry. I've got audience in the background. So David's telling me we go for an afternoon swim just a thing we always yes. do it's not a tradition though i wouldn't class we it as a tradition every time we finish <laughs> okay all right yeah so no apart from that we don't really have any traditions so that's it that's all our questions yeah all done are you happy <sighs> <laughs> he's gonna have a big drink after this he did really well yeah. Yay. yeah. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you everyone to in, um, for all those questions. Um, we really enjoyed answering them. Um, I think David should be in it next time. Um, but yeah, thanks guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, we loved doing it. Um, <laughs> just ignore him, Harry. He's trying to put you off. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. Don't forget to ding that bell for notifications of. Oh, future vlogs that are coming up so yeah thanks for watching guys bye, bye.